hello folks welcome back uh, we were discussing the unit called hydrology in the previous videos we have discussed different uh, types of the rain gauges now we will be discussing the mean annual rainfall and methods of computation of average rainfall so what is this mean annual rainfall this is the annual uh, means the rainfall we will be collecting it daily uh, by this uh, the department called imd the indian meteorological department they will be collecting the rainfall daily and they will be averaging it of about the monthly and the quarterly yeah, half yearly and the year depending on those we are again the readings it varies yearly in the sense whatever uh, in this uh, the last year what we had the rainfall it might be not the same in this year and during in 2018 it was not the same isn't it so we will be calculating the rainfall in mean annual rainfalls for those calculation we have some methods to compute those average yearly rainfall how we will be calculating it we will be discussing in this videos the first thing the amount of rainfall required over number of years by a given rain gauge station we will be noting it down next usually the rainfall period of 35 years is taken to calculate calculate the mean annual rainfall uh, please understand the whatever the rainfall will be collecting it we will be collecting it in the period of 35 years and we will be calculating it for the mean annual rainfall before because this 35 years mean annual rainfall is about 1.8 percent within true mean value whatever the uh, the mean value we will be calculating it is around 1.8 percent it is about true value we will be getting it next the methods of computing this rainfall are the arithmetic average mean method cheesen polygon method isohydel method these are some methods so we will be discussing one by one in the further uh, slides first one the arithmetic average method so in this method the average rainfall is been obtained by taking the average depths of all rain gauges located in the area let p1 p2 p3 so on up to pn be the rainfall depths measured at respective stations and n be the total numbers of stations average rainfall depth p is given as p is equals to p1 plus p2 up to pn we will be adding all these precipitations and we will be dividing with how many number of precipitation it is been collected p is equals to p1 plus p2 plus p3 up to pn divided by n the number of precipitation it is being collected and we will be adding all the precipitations we will be getting the average rainfall depth of p this method is suitable where rain gauges are uniformly distributed over the area and rainfall varies in regular manner next thiessen polygon method in this method the adjacent rain gauge stations in the sense if we are the rain gauge it is been established in belgam area similarly there will be one more in darwad there will be in one more in bagalkot similarly uh, wherever the uh, rain gauge stations are there we will be joining all these rain gauge rain gauge stations by straight line which divides the total area into some serial uh, series of triangles you might have been studied this in your surveying hold to the part similar way here 
we will be connecting all these ring gauges stations and dividing it into series of triangles one each of these lines perpendicular bisectors are drawn uh, which forms a series of polygons the uh, we will be connecting all these perpendicularly dropped lines and we will be connecting all these saying that it is a polygon each polygon contains one rain gauge station let p1 p2 p3 so on goes on up to pn are the rainfall depths measured at respective stations a1 a2 till an be the area of the each polygon and a be the total area average rainfall depth p is given by the multiplication of in the sense the summation of product of each precipitation depths into the uh, the area where it is been precipitated the respective divided by the average area of those uh, polygon it is been uh, connected in the sense the perpendicularly dropped uh, lines we will be connecting all these areas using that uh, means we will be saying that it is the polygon it is been uh, marked that polygon within that polygon whatever the area we are going to get that is that will be our uh, average area of the polygon and the product the summation of the product the precipitation depths and the area where the precipitation it is been happened in the sense uh, understand the p1 and the a1 we will be considering it as the the belgam city the precipitation whatever uh, it is been happened in this city and whatever the area it is been covered that product will be mentioning it as p1 and the a1 when it comes to dharwad we say it as the p2 and the a2 uh, uh, some area over those area the precipitation about uh, 2 cm or 25 20 cm mm it is been the rainfall for first day on those respectively we will be Uh, doing some summation similarly the production uh, products of precipitation and the area and the uh, ratio of these summation to the production product with uh, the area whatever the polygon total area we have been got that area will be uh, giving the average rainfall depth in this method each rain gauge is equal given equal weightage according to its position and the last one the iso heidel method in this the contours of equal rainfall it is been marked in this method a line is drawn passing through the equal values of rainfall just like the contour lines how you are going to mark on every equal heights as you have studied the, the surveying you might be understanding that what is this contour means wherever the equal uh, altitudes the reduced bearings or the reduced height you find you will be marking it as the one contour similarly if you find the lower it is the valley if you find the upper uh, the gradients we say it as the hill similarly here uh, in this method a line is drawn passing through the equal values of rainfall which form isohedral pattern as shown in the figure uh, have not mentioned in this okay i will show in the next coming videos the area between the isoheights is called calculated by planimeter or by graph let's p1 p2 p3 so on till pn be the isoheights or rainfall depths measured and a1 a2 a3 so on up to a an be the area between iso heights and the total a capital a b total area the average rainfall depth p is calculated by summation of area uh, between two adjacent iso heights into mean of two iso heights value
isoids in the sense it is the rainfall depths and divided by total area in the equation form it is p is equals to a1 into p1 plus p2 by 2 it is the mean of two isohydes value or the rainfall depths value similarly the second area a2 into p2 plus p3 divided by 2 similarly it goes on up to n values and divided by total area this is the most accurate method to compute the average rainfall depths and this ends the part thank you